Hello, this is a makeup tutorial for the girls. Um, as you can see, I already did the left side of my face, so you can see what it looks like when we're done. So first up, we're going to start with the primer. Uh, primer is really important because it'll help your makeup not crease. It'll help your makeup stay put, um, which is really important when you need to wear it all day and you're dancing and doing costume changes and all sorts of crazy stuff. Um, anyway, so you're going to really want to uh, blend in that primer. Um, just kind of put a nice little even layer everywhere. Um, it's going to be the base of your makeup, so it's really important. So after you do that, we are going to move on to foundation. Um, I like the liquid foundation because my face is naturally really red, so I just like the coverage of the liquid. But everyone needs foundation, whether you choose liquid or powder, that is up to you. Um, but the foundation will add a little bit of color to your face so that under the stage lights, you don't just look like a white blob. Uh, if you choose to use liquid, you are welcome to use a sponge um, or a wedge, but I like to use my fingers. That's just a personal preference. But if you choose to use a sponge, it works just as well. So you're really going to want to make sure that you blend in your foundation. So you really want to blend it into your um, hairline. And also you really want to make sure that you blend it down your neck. Um, if it just stops at your jaw, it's really noticeable. Um, so just really make sure that you blend your foundation down. So that way it'll look more natural. So personal preference, I also like to use a powder foundation over my liquid. Um, it just helps dull the shine of the liquid foundation and control that shine. And it also helps blend it into my skin tone or in, into my skin on my neck better. Um, but this is by no means anything you have to do. It's a personal preference. So really make sure that your foundation is well blended. I cannot stress blending enough when it comes to stage makeup or just any makeup. Uh, really make sure you blend it. So next you're going to do the contour and highlight. Uh, so to contour, you're going to just want to put the dark um, part of it, that's the contour, anywhere where your face naturally has a shadow. So your hairline, your cheekbone, your temple, and your jaw are really important places. Also your nose, and if you want your chin. So once you put that on there, um, right now I'm using a stick, uh, so you really, 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 really want to blend that. You don't want a brown streak on your cheek. Uh, to figure out the hollow of your cheek, you want to suck in your cheeks and smile, and that will really help you find the definition of where your cheeks are. So after you do the cheek and the hairline and the temple, you can go down and do your jaw. It's really important that you blend it um, because having a stri having a stripe of brown just kind of looks a little weird. So again, blend, blend, blend. So next, I like to use a powder contour for my nose. Um, so I just kind of go from my eyebrow all the way down to the bridge of my nose. Uh, it just really helps add definition to your face. So everything about stage makeup is to add definition. Uh, it helps you look at your time period as well, but it really helps add definition so that the audience can see your facial expressions. So because we're stressing to keep it bow, I'm also adding that shadow there underneath my nose um, so that it adds a contrast to my lips and to the highlighter that I'm going to later put by my in my cupid's bow. So I'm using the highlighter. Right now I'm using the powder, but I'll switch to the stick later. Um, so you're going to use the highlighter on the top of your nose, on your chin where your chin catches the light, and then up on just like that little bottom area of your forehead where your forehead catches light. You're also going to want to use the highlighter underneath your eyes on the top of your cheekbone. Um, I'm switching to my stick because it also kind of acts as a concealer. Um, and then you're going to want to go a little bit down next to your nose to add that contrast between the contour on your nose 
and to your cheeks. So next for the blush, and again you're going to do that funky suck in your cheeks and smile. Uh, it'll help you really, it'll help really define the apple of your cheek, which you're really going to focus on. But just to kind of not look like a doll, you want to blend it back towards your hairline a little bit. And then you can just kind of take another brush and just kind of blend it all together. Uh, so for your eyes, start with a primer. Again, it's Eyeshadow creases really badly throughout the day, so it's really important to use a primer because it'll help your eyeshadow not crease. And since um, quite a few of the girls are going to be doing a dramatic smoky eye, it is very important to have that primer on there to keep it from creasing. So first, to start uh, the base layer of the eyeshadow, I'm using a light nude eyeshadow with a little bit of a shine. Uh, so you're going to put that all the way from your lashes all the way up to your eyebrow going to contrast with the black and act as a highlighter and just really add to the eye makeup look. So once you have a nice even layer of the nude color, you are going to take a black eyeshadow with preferably an angled brush and you're going to make a little V coming from the your eyelashes into your crease and that is just kind of creating the lines that you will later color in. And you just take a normal eyeshadow brush and you're going to blend those lines and add some more black just um, to really help darken it up. Um, but doing that, using that angled brush first will really help add definition to the eyeshadow and keep it from looking like you have a black eye. So after you blend it, just kind of take that angled brush and go over it just one little time to just kind of add that definition to it. And then um, if you feel like the black isn't blended enough or whatever, you can take the nude color again and just kind of go over it again to blend the two together. And just keep repeating these steps until you feel like you have a nice, clean, smoky eye look. Also, I take the black and I blend a little bit underneath my lower lash line to just kind of blend the whole look together. Uh, next for eyeliner, I'm using a waterproof eyeliner because if for any reason you cry or you're sweating or you just splash your face with water or whatever, um, you don't want it coming off and running. So you want a really, really, really thin line of eyeliner following your lash line, which is this small little wing at the end. And then to define your eyes, you're going to put a little bit of eyeliner underneath on your lower lash line, just about a fourth of the way or half away. Um, and again, you can use the black eyeshadow to just kind of help blend the eyeliner in there. Um, but you don't want the black eyeliner to go all the way across your lower lash line or it'll close off your eyes. So next for mascara, you can either do mascara or false eyelashes or a little bit of both. Um, false eyelashes can be really hard to deal with for um, younger people um, or just in general. So Janessa suggested this mascara. It has a little primer layer and then it has the mascara, so it just really creates a nice, beautiful, dramatic, long eyelash look. So first I'm putting on the primer part, and I'm also doing my lower lashes um, to add that definition and the dramatic look to this eye look. Uh, so then we're going to do the mascara again, both the top eyelashes and the bottom eyelashes. Um, really layered on there, make sure you get nice, beautiful, long, dramatic eyelashes. So if for some reason your eyeliner is a little bit too thick on the bottom or your mascara gets down there or whatever, you are welcome to use some eye makeup remover and just kind of go over it to thin it out and make it nice and natural so that you don't just have a bunch of black around your eye. Um, I do it all the time. It helps it helps me thin it out because sometimes it's hard to do a nice thin eyeliner line. Some eyeliners just go off thick. So once you're happy with your eye makeup, your 
eyelashes are nice and long and beautiful. Your eyeliner is just nice and defining. Um, a trick that I've learned is to take either a white eyeshadow or a white eyeliner. Um, and some people aren't comfortable with this part, so you don't have to do it. It is just a suggestion that helps. You take it and you line your waterline with white. Um, this just helps make your eyes look bigger. It adds contrast with the black eyeliner underneath and it opens up your eyes. And then, this is for everyone, whether or not you like lining your waterline or not. Um, I highly suggest taking a little bit of that white eyeliner or eyeshadow and putting it right in the corner of your eye. You can do it as a dot, or you can do it as a V that follows the corner, um, but that will really help open your eye up. And it'll really create a beautiful contrast with that smoky eye look, and it'll help with that smoky eye look. And then if you need to touch up any concealer or highlighter, feel free to do so. Sometimes the black from the eyeshadow comes down underneath, so you just kind of got to brush it off. And after you're happy with that, we move on to the lips. I like the Maybelline 24 Hour um, Lip Stay color. It literally stays on through anything. So really, because we really want to focus on an accentuated um, Cupid's bow, do your top lip at an angle, kind of make a little X, and that'll help create a beautiful little Cupid's bow and a little sweetheart. Uh, to add a definition and just to dramatize my lips a little bit, I took a lip liner that was darker than the lip color I chose, and I lined my lips with that. And you want to go just outside of what your lips normally would be to just kind of make them bigger and add a little bit of that dramatic look. And then you take it and you put it in the corner of your lips as kind of a contour. Um, so it'll create a contrast from the dark on the inside to the light in the middle. Uh, so you're just going to want to line the lips and then put that in the corner and then just kind of blend it a little bit. And then I used my Milani, my red Milani lip color. Uh, Milani is another brand that stays on through anything. Um, so because my lips were a little bit dark, I added this bright red to just kind of blend it and to add a, that contrast between that nice light red and the dark on the outside but then it also lightened up the lip color a little bit. So this is how I created a nice little dramatic um, lip look. You don't have to do this, by all means. You are welcome to just pick a nice, beautiful, dramatic lip color, um, like on the list, and just put that on. But if you wanted to go an extra step and just kind of make them more dramatic, you are welcome to do all of this. So after this, to help accentuate the Cupid's bow, I took some highlighter and just kind of put it in that little V and just kind of lined just a little bit of um, my upper lip uh, just to really help make that more dramatic, create that contrast, and just accentuate that Cupid's bow. So once you've done all of this, use your setting powder. Setting powder and setting spray are really, really important because they will help waterproof your makeup. They will help it stay, um, which is really important because it'll really save you work between shows when you don't have to touch up a lot of makeup. And so again, really, really blend that um, powder on there, really blend it in, and put a nice even layer. And then after this, you're going to use the setting spray, which is going to really help your makeup stay. Um, between the two of them, your makeup should make it through two shows and more, um, which is going to be really, really useful for you. Um, anyway, I hope this video was helpful, and I hope you were able to follow it, um, and good luck.